Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're on the Trenton Mersey Canal and I've just left my mooring spot at Bishton and I'm heading towards Great Hayward. Now I'm not going quite as far as the Hayward Junction in this trip. Instead I'm going to more slightly south of the village on some very nice visitor moorings. On the way we'll be going through Colwich and Little Hayward and then on, on to Great Hayward. And as you can see, spring is really starting to get going now. And this first part of the trip was so lovely, I'm not going to edit very much of it out. Hello, Mr. Swan. Over to the right you'll catch the occasional glimpse of Bishton Hall, quite a beautiful building. Shortly after Bishton Hall there are some very popular visitor moorings and the reason they're popular is that just around the corner from that blue boat up ahead there's a road bridge, bridge number 70 and if you go left on that road bridge you will get to a pub and if you turn to the right it's not very far, there's a garage 
and it's quite a useful garage because apart from selling fuel it also sells coal and calla gas it's got a convenience store built into it and a post office so it's well worth going there to stock up so turn left at this bridge for the pub and right for the garage I don't like mooring here because this, these roads around this area are actually very busy and they do spoil things quite a lot. Over to the left is starting to get some lovely views of Cannock Chase. Unfortunately this little camera doesn't do it justice. But I did take a picture when I went to the garage, I took a picture from there. And it's really quite interesting landscape. Look out ducks. We're now boating along the edge of Colwich. You can't see much of the village really apart from a few houses which back down onto the canal. Really quite pretty gardens though. Uh, the lock is pretty and that's just coming up ahead. Here up ahead is Colwich Lock. You can access the village from this bridge to, to the right. Um, there's not a lot there to interest the boater really. Be a bit careful here as the flow of water from that weir on the right will push your boat quite hard and you can see all the damage and wear to the brickwork of this bridge here. That weir does make it quite difficult to line the boat up nice and straight so that you can go smoothly into the lock without bumping or scraping and hence all the damage there uh, bears witness to that.
and some other boaters turned up and gave me a hand with this lock. The canal's still very quiet at this time of year. Trains and boats, and if we just had an aeroplane we'd have a lovely cliché on our hands. This is Little Haywood now, and we're just going past some canal side cottages. The small village of Little Haywood is just to the right of that next bridge, which is Bridge 72. I didn't go in there myself, but I believe they may have a pub. Now if you fancy a walk into Cannock Chase, which I thoroughly recommend, this is the best bridge to do it from, I think. This is Bridge 72, turn left here, it's about half a mile down the road, and then you cross the busy main road, and then up a short lane, and then there's many miles of walks through some really beautiful countryside, and there's good moorings either side of this bridge. In fact, the good moorings continue all the way up to Great Haywood now. Plenty of places to stop. Now I'm going to moor up here. Over to the left you get some lovely views of Shugborough Hall and its estate. It's really a very pretty place to moor. It can of course get very busy down here. Just up ahead there's a bridge which takes you into Great Haywood itself. There's a spa shop and a couple of pubs so it's quite a useful little place. But now, of course, it's time to let the cats out. Please click the like button if you've enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe. In the next trip, we'll go through Great Hayward Junction itself. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.